Oh, it's off again. It's off. It's off on its own. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not touching the throttle. <laughs> Ah, what's he doing? Come back here, come back here. What are you doing? There we go. <laughs> oh, it's off again. It's off. No. <laughs> Guys, this is a Traxxas Spirit from around 2000, 2001. But the chassis it uses is from around 1986. And I'm not sure Traxxas would want you to remember this one. And in this video, we're going to talk about why. This is 100% my opinion. <laughs> on why they don't want you to see this, no one else is, and it's also for clicks and views, as some of you like to put it. Everyone that does YouTube videos does them for clicks and views, otherwise there'd be no point doing them, would they? Anyway, this is the Traxxas Spirit. There's some stats on it there. 2.1 inch wheels, slick tires, Stinger 20 turn brushed motor, enclosed tub chassis. Came in various colors. The classic TQ remote, fast finished and ready to run. Here we go for my best voice now. The Traxxas Spirit puts fast, furious fun and the thrill of competition at your fingertips. This hot rod race truck is the ultimate parking lot racer. It features adjustable oil filled shocks and semi pneumatic rubber racing slicks to handle the ruts and bumps of real world pavement. Real world pavement, what does that even mean? A hot 20 turn racing motor turns the excitement even higher. The hobby class digital proportional pistol grip radio system has powerful range that reaches up to a quarter mile. That is decent, quarter mile, wow. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Nothing else matters. Six channels are available, uh oh. We got a star. So that you can race against your friends, the Spirit is 100% ready to dry right at the box. It's fully assembled with a beautiful five color painted and trimmed body. Sign me up for mainstream telly. I think the Spirit actually came out around the mid 90s. This is a 2000. The later ones had the Traxxas.com, like the website on them. So this is, yeah, 2000 ish. But that chassis is a lot earlier. So here's the beast. This one actually, I got it off eBay, I think. I think it's eBay. This comes with the original instructions there. There's your retro TQ remote, throttle trim, steering trim, uh, neutral and 730 for the throttle. 27 megahertz. Oh, what did that star mean? Oh, I couldn't see it on the instructions. It probably just means that you need to change that and um, the crystal over to run multiple ones. Anyway, that's the transmitter. And this is the little truck. Shout out to Model Sport UK and the MS UK forum. Look, you've got some stickers on there, a bit of free publicity for you. Look at this beast. <laughs> Two wheel drive stadium truck, graphics of the time, sort of 90s going into early 2000s. Got them slick street wheels on it. Not actually a bad looking truck. The body's a little bit, and fitment's a bit rubbish. That side's good. That side is not. This one's in really good condition. I'm not sure it's been run that much. There's that stinger motor in there. Oil shocks, although they don't feel like they got oil in them. That's the little adjuster. That's pretty good, actually. Nice and easy to adjust. Maybe over the years, the uh, oil's come out of them. Anyway, why do I think that they might want you to forget about this one? Well, Trax is not just famous for ready-to-run RC cars and bringing ready-to-run to the market. Some of you, some of you that have been in the radio control hobby for a while, may recognize this chassis or at least parts of it. If there's any Tamiya fans out there, you'll recognize that back end there as kind of a bit like a Hornet or the Grasshopper or the Lunchbox. It's got the pivot points there, very similar. Let me get, let me get a Lunchbox. So there's the Lunchbox rear axle and there's the uh, Traxxas one. So not exactly the same, but you can see the similarity. So like I was saying, not only are they famous for kind of bringing the ready to run RC car to market, they're also famous for taking anyone to court and suing them if they copy them. Copyright infringements, trademark infringements, and stuff like that. So this chassis originally came out from Traxxas 19, I think it was 86, and it was called the Cat, the Traxxas Cat. I think it later turned into the Top Cat. And then it looks like a decade later they put a um, stadium truck body on it and remarketed it as the spirit and kept that going into like the 2000s so close to 20 years after this chassis came out they were still throwing it out which is up to them isn't it the rustler chassis has been around for decades as well and that's fine but, but going back to this chassis from the 80s if you search for the nico rhino i actually tried to find one on ebay to do this video side by side this chassis is pretty much a carbon copy of the Nico Rhino. I don't believe it had a big 540 motor and oil shocks and stuff, but the actual chassis and the design 
was taken from that toy grade Nico Rhino. And that's why I think Traxxas might not want you to remember this one. But around the same time, they had like the Hawk, the Nitro Hawk, really, really cool. I'm surprised this one was dragged out for so long. But anyway, that's enough of the drama. Oh, a Tamiya a plug. Right, I'm gonna charge a battery. I've not run this yet, so I'm gonna charge a battery. I think I need 200 double A's for that. So we'll throw some double A's in, and we're gonna go give it a little rip. They're meant to be really fast, so I might stick my GPS on it. Right, let's get a speed run done before that nickel metal hydride battery drains within about two seconds. Let's see how fast it is. Oh, that's if I can keep it good. That's if I can keep, whoa. Run away. Oh my word, what's it doing? I'm not touching the so my GoPro froze. Uh, we had a runaway and I crashed it into a curb. This isn't how it crashed. I'm just making sure the speed controller is working. I'm a bit nervous now. Hit 11 mile an hour into that curb. Let's try again. <laughs> oh, it's doing it. It's going to run away again, I think. Oh no, are we all right? That steering's terrible. Yeah, it's not happy. It is not happy. That's me full throttle. <laughs> there we go. Whoa. Wow, well, that's a disappointment, isn't it? I think we can at least get a jump out of it. Oh, that steering is so bad. Donuts. 22 mile an hour though, that is fast. Fast for something this old. I can't believe you missed all the comedy. <laughs> when I switched it on, the GoPro froze after about 30 seconds. And it went full throttle, I only had steering. And then it crashed into a kerb. It seems to be working all right now, I've adjusted the throttle trim a bit. It seems to be driving all right now. <laughs> oh, that's steering. <laughs> Wow. I don't know about 2001, but if you had a Traxxas cat in the 80s, I'd say it's probably pretty good. Oh, it's off again. It's off. It's off on its own. Oh, no. I'm not touching the throttle. <laughs> ah, what's he doing? Come back here. Come back here. What are you doing? There we go. <laughs> oh, it's off again. It's off. No. <laughs> What are you doing? The joy of mechanical speed controllers. Stop, stop. Right, it's, the throttle's gone reversed. Why is it reversed the throttle? Right, right, stop, 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 stop. Right, let's uh, get this under control. As you can see, I'm not touching the throttle here. It's just off on its own. Come back. We need to get it under control. Slow down, slow down, stop, 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 stop. Right. So there we go, guys. A slightly eventful run for the spirit, a spirited runaway. Everything that was wrong with the 80s and 90s mechanical speed controllers. I don't know what was going on with it. It was driving normally with the throttle, and then when it had a runaway, when I was hitting reverse, it was going faster forward. So I had to hold it at full throttle to get it to slow down. I don't know, and we missed and we missed the major crash because my camera froze. But anyway, a little bit of damage to it. There's the tracks of spirit. Make what you will of the chassis. It's history. I'm just making a drama for drama's sake for the video. Forgot to mention as well, when I was looking online at the Rhino, I came across some videos from Amp Pro Engineering. Uh, he's done a, he's done like a little build series of the Nico Rhino. If you're interested in some of the older toy stuff, I'll leave a link to the video in the description. Uh, really interesting to watch. Cheers for watching. I will see you next time. <laughs>